What's up guys, it's Higgins in Japan, here with another edition of the Fried... Wait... Wait, it's Monday. I didn't do a Friday video. Whoops! Hey guys, what's going on? Higgins in Japan here with another video. Um, and so, yeah, like I said, I didn't do a Friday video uh, this past week. Uh, for a couple reasons and so we'll get into that and we'll get into what I'm doing these days because it's been like a couple of days since I made a video and so I'm headed home it's Monday afternoon and I did get some messages from people and so yes I am going to make another video um, and have uh, plans for videos and upcoming things and um, just some of that stuff kind of took a backseat to things that were going on in my life this past week um, and so if you follow me on Facebook or uh, Twitter you might have seen some comments about me being in the hospital briefly very briefly um, and being um, hit by a softball during softball practice and so to confirm those rumors yes those that was true that really did happen uh, so last week on Wednesday during practice um, we were you know have a normal softball practice uh, they decided to break out the pitching machine um, to do some bunting practice and so myself and one of the other coaches were standing behind a um, I forget the exact like technical name for it basically it catches the ball when the pitching machine throws it or even like a pitcher throws it um, and just collects it into a giant net that way um, you know you don't have to run around the baseball field trying to collect balls or whatever um, kind of keeps them all located in one spot for easy cleanup especially if you're using the pitching machine um, because you know um, it can sometimes pitch faster than what the pitcher can pitch at and so the girls will often miss and it'll just go in the net and then you collect them all and it's real fun and easy and everybody goes home safe and happy well except for on Wednesday so on Wednesday they were setting up the machine and it's got a little adjustment on it where you can adjust the height of it so you know depending on how far away you are it's all it's all math stuff depending on how far away you are the angle of the ball coming out of the pitching machine you don't want it to be too high because then the girls can't swing at it or can't hit the ball and the practice is just uh, you know pointless so they were uh, essentially zeroing in the the pitching machine and um, I was standing behind this fence that has this big net on it and I was standing a distance away from it because even if you do stand directly behind it like you're gonna get hit by a ball because the net you know has some give to it it's gonna move so we stand you know a good distance away from it um, and usually what happens is one coach will stand like behind like behind that the net and then another coach will stand kind of off to the side to the either left or right that way you can see like a better like angle on whoever's pitching or whoever's batting so that way you can say oh hey when you approach the ball you need to do this differently I noticed it from here whereas you know if you're both standing in the same spot it might be difficult to see um, something going on so I'm standing behind the the fence and kind of leaning up against another fence so I was like a good 15 feet away from it and um, wasn't really paying attention um, they were just zeroing in the pitching machine and so like I was just standing there not really paying attention and a ball came and hit the top hit the top like um, beam that you know the pipe that holds the whole frame together of the fence and just shot straight across that fence and hit me right like right here like just straight right in the top of the head and like I didn't like it was more of a surprise than anything but it was definitely obviously painful I mean anytime you get hit in the head with anything it's pretty painful um, I didn't lose consciousness I didn't uh, black out nothing like that happened but I uh, you know definitely felt the the brunt force of a softball hitting me in the head and so um, you know everybody was like oh are you okay are you okay and I was like yeah I'm fine you know now I have a headache you know because of the ball to the face and uh, so 
I went home and I don't have I didn't like didn't have an ice pack but I had some frozen fruit in the uh, the freezer so you know sat that on my head it went ahead it kind of went away but was still kind of there in the background um, Thursday I went to Thursday is my like elementary school day so went to my elementary school had a headache like all day um, came home took a leave and that kind of alleviated the pain <laughs> see what I did there and um, so then I get to school Friday morning and like my headache starting to come back and I don't remember if I took a leave in the morning I don't think I did because I was just kind of like eh, I'll tough it out oh man I need no stinking painkillers I don't know what, what impression that was so forgive me that um, so yeah so uh, went to school on Friday just after like first period um, one of my teachers was like are you okay and I was like yeah I just have a headache and I went down to the nurse's office and put like an ice pack on my head and they were like hey did you go to the doctor after you got hit in the face with a softball on Wednesday and I was like no I might go after school today depending on how I feel and they were like, no, you should probably go now. And I was like, ah, I'll be okay. And they're like, no, we really think you should go now. And so I made the appropriate calls. And after some time later, um, I then arrived at the hospital and uh, went in. I went to a, I went to one of the hospitals that one of the, teachers uh, recommended my my school is kind of known for sports and so this place kind of um, they they send a lot of the students there if they get sports injuries and that kind of thing so <coughs> excuse me so went there filled out some paperwork that needed to be filled out didn't take very much time at all um, had to wait a few minutes um, and they brought me in for they brought uh, like a nurse brought me into this room for a consultation just to ask like what my symptoms were and I told her really like just a headache like I've not had nausea or double vision or I haven't blacked out or I passed out or you know or at least not that I can remember um, and so went through all that with her and then she was like okay go out and wait in the next room and then maybe 20 minutes later um, another um, person from the hospital came out and he was like hey we're gonna do a CT scan and we're gonna do some x-rays I said great sounds good let's do it so went in laid down uh, got my head scanned uh, then went to another room they took a forward x-ray and a side x-ray um, and then had to wait a little bit longer maybe about 30 minutes and uh, then uh, the doctor I went back into a different consultation room and a doctor came in and he looked at my head or looked at my scans and x-rays and all that stuff and he was like you got hit in the head with a softball I said yeah he's like well there isn't any like there was no swelling I mean there was like a little bit of a bump on my head like when I was 15 or 16 I had a concussion like a really bad concussion like I don't remember anything um, concussion and had like a like a grapefruit or an orange size you know knot on my head and so um, there wasn't anywhere near that amount of swelling whatsoever obviously you get hit your your head's gonna go oh, what was that and you know stuff kicks in and your your, your head swells up uh, but not that much not very noticeable at all and uh, he, he said, you know, you didn't crack anything, you didn't fracture anything, you didn't break anything, everything looks good. It's like, you might have a headache for the next couple of days, but other than that, you should be fine. So that was on Friday. Oh, and he said, you know, rest and take it easy and that kind of thing. So that was Friday, went home, rested, um, and you know, here I am now. I'm still alive, still kicking, as they say. Um, headaches gone away you know so that's good um, and so yeah glad that that wasn't any more serious and relatively painless I mean painless as in the whole 
you know, getting to the hospital um, on time was a little bit of a thing because certain hospitals have certain hours. Um, so you have to get there between certain times and uh, sometimes you get there in time and sometimes you don't. And I made it there just in time. I was like one of the last people to leave before they like kind of closed and then reopened later on in the afternoon. Um, so what else? What else happened this weekend? Oh, so Saturday um, we had like our kind of going away banquet for the softball team. So that was a lot of fun. So after all of our practice and all of our games and awards and whatnot, um, we got to celebrate. We had a, a parents versus students game, um, and they let me play. They let me bat. They made me wear a helmet. <laughs> they had to break out the L-size helmet because the M-size helmet was trying to rip my ears off. Like, I couldn't get it over my ears. Like, I don't have big ears, but I got a big head. And so they wanted to make sure I was safe. So... Every time I went up to bat, I wore a helmet, and I was one for three. I had two sack, two sack flies, but whatever, you know, you gotta advance the play wherever you can, and um, for not playing softball since I don't know when, um, I think I did pretty good for my three times up to bat. We ended up losing by two points, two runs, but we weren't really keeping score. It was more fun, and... You know, all the parents got to get up there, and it was fun. It was just a really fun time. And then afterwards, we went to uh, this hotel that had this really nice lunch buffet. And holy cow, can I tell you something? Teenage girls can eat like there's no tomorrow. Like, this buffet was not, like, huge by any stretch of the imagination. But these girls made more trips than like I could count like I lost track of how many times they got up to get food mostly desserts mostly like they ate the dude I don't know they, I don't know how many times that guy refilled like the cake display but them girls know how to eat some cake I'm telling you so but that was fun that was a fun afternoon and and Saturday and uh so that, that brings us to here, to Monday, and uh, so I'm almost home, and I don't know what this person's doing sitting halfway in the crosswalk, but I'm just going to go, and uh, I will catch you guys later. As always, questions or comments or suggestions, hit me up, facebook.com slash Higgins in Japan. Put some questions in the comment section below. Let me know what are you doing, and uh, I will catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.